and I am on a feather kick these last two weeks I've been practicing all my feather paintings and I'm gonna show you um, all the different paintings that I've been playing with and trying and um, I have loved feathers since I was a little girl I would collect them even if they might my parents tell me they're gross or whatever um, this one is my favorite probably not gonna tutorial this because we've already done a wreath tutorial but I really love the way this um, came out and these are just the other feathers and some of them are like incredibly unnatural like this one I love rainbows if you know me you know I love rainbows I decided to do some rainbow stuff and here's one kind of like saw and decided to check it out I have some real feathers here to take a look at so you could kind of see like look at the color on this so I think these two are at least little peacock feathers um, and there's something like you know when you're painting feathers you can really just take a look at the feather and look how it is and I think today I'm not going to do any of the paintings that I've already done I'm going to go with some inspiration of what I already have look at this blue jay feather so me and my kids used to live behind a um behind a state park and we would go on hikes and find feathers all the time and really just bring them home or we'd find them in the yard and look at this these are just these are all natural feathers that we found out and about um going hikes or going to the zoo or wherever we were we would just find feathers lying around and we would just pick them up and I have a little vase look at that color so I want us in this tutorial ooh, I love this one to just do some feathers I love this one too I love the blue and um, it's just so pretty you see how lovely this is I think we could do this one I think this might be a peacock feather too I am not sure we go all over the place and pick up feathers and put them in our little tiny teeny tiny vase like this one we used to find in our yard these birds it's like so unnatural it looks dyed but it's natural color and this one I just like how it had like the the ombre going on in this feather and it's just so pretty so I hope you're ready as we're looking at feathers and maybe you might have some feathers that you want to paint um, and this is your time to do it. I've had a lot of people who really enjoyed looking at my, who liked my feather paintings, who wanted them. Like once again, I don't really sell my paintings um, just because I'm just not at that point in my life to want to sell any of my paintings. And so I hope that with this, um, you'll be able to paint with me. So I'm gonna start right now, it's a four by six and I'm getting out my, um, I'm just gonna get my number four um, round. This one doesn't have the number on it. This is number four, and I'm gonna start out. And depends on what feather we're gonna do. I'm gonna do three of them, you know, kind of back and forth right here. And I'm gonna take a gray. Now you know the grays are mixed with um, blue and brown. Now the type of blue you use and the type of brown you use will give you different hues of gray. But I just want a really, really light gray because I kind of think I want for my first one. I want to do this lovely one. So I'm gonna put them on the side as we go along, you know, and, and paint them. So I'm gonna do this gray one, and it looks like the gray on the bottom is more of a brown gray, so we're gonna we're gonna try that. So I'm gonna make my 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 gray, but I was gonna be a little bit more of a blue gray, and I'm gonna go really light. Now remember to have your this out here so you can test it or whatever you have to do. See, so I can see how dark or light it is. I'm gonna pick up some more water, and then I'm just, what, what we do when we make a feather is I just make one arch to start. Just one arch, that is all. And then from there you go in and you start adding the feathers. So you, I like to go in and start from the bottom, you start from the top, and I just kind of do lines as we go. And so do you see how this one is like brown on this side? And it's got some white and you just kind of go that way 
and then we're going to start on the top. Now this color is really fantastic. It's like a blue with like green. So I'm going to go in here and take my cobalt blue. Now when you make your feathers, please feel free to use any color makes you happy. Um, do unnatural feathers that are not really found in real life. I think doing whatever you feel that makes you happy is the best. Now I'm going to go in here and we're going to darken this up later on. And I want to leave a little bit of a space for the white. Now I'm going to probably go in back with my, um, I have a gel pen that I absolutely, and I'm not joking, absolutely love to use. And do some white highlights in here. And we're going to let this one dry so we can go back in and do some more coloring. Now I think the next one I want to do is this really fun orange one. But see, there's two ways. You can draw the underside of the feather, or the top side of the feather, or however you want to call it. And um, this one has a really orangey undertone. So I'm going to take some of my Unburnt Sierra and do really light. And I'm practicing up here. And do that as my under. I'm not doing quite the orange, but more of a, a beige. And I think for this one, I really want to be the underside. So I'm going to take this one and have it come down this way. And I'm going to take my Burnt Sierra, but let's, let's have it go the same way. So I always like to draw things the same, the same way, right? So we're going to come out. It's a little bit heavy, but you can always push that out later on. And we're going to add darker colors later on. And if it's not, do you see how I'm just kind of taking the paintbrush and just pushing, pushing it out some? And I'm grabbing some more water because I want it to be not quite as heavy with paint because we're going to layer. That's the trick with watercolor. And we're just going to go in. And go that way. So now we have our two feathers that we've got so far. So we've got this one weird peacock one and the orange one. And the next one, I think I want to do this one. And I'm not just another gray one. Now you, let's say you're painting and you're like, I really don't want that color. Do whatever color you want. That's the beauty of painting. That's the beauty of art is you can literally do whatever you, it is that you want to do. So I'm going to go in here. It's going to be kind of heavy start. And this is more of like a blue gray. Another one was more of like a brown. And I'm just going to go in and just do this all one color. And then we're going to go in and I'm taking, picking up water. Normally I like to do this in odd number, but I think this painting I'm going to have an even number. I'm going to go against what I normally do, which is rare for me because I like to do that sometimes and try something new. I'm going to do an odd number. And I, do you see how I just pulled water to get this in here? And we're going to go back in once it starts to dry and then add more layers. And it's the fun thing about doing feathers is, um, you know, you could do whatever, what you really want. Honestly, like the one in this painting, it's almost like a galaxy feather. Like you can totally do a galaxy feather if you want. Now I think I want to do like another, um, more of like a neutral sort of colored feather in here. And so I'm actually, I think I want to try this one on the other side. I can, I don't know if you can see it, but it has like all these little orange and it's just incredibly beautiful. So I'm going to try this one on the bottom and see how it goes. Now I haven't tested, I haven't tried any of these out, I'm just testing in this video. And you can see like as you're painting you can have a lot of fun when you're doing stuff. So this one got too much too much paint on there. Um, this one is not quite as like long and wispy, it's kind of like long, right? So it goes up like this and then it kind of comes out like, like this and goes around. And so I'm just putting the base in because we'll put more color in there. And then from there, it has all these little wispies coming out, right? So that's what I'm going to put in right now. And it, even some of the wispies go the other way. And I'm just pulling it in just to give me like a baseline of what's, what, what it is that I want to do. Now, you can kind of see where I have it. And, and as we go through, we'll do it. So I have my four feathers that I'm using. I'm going to take the other ones out. Um, and these are the ones that we're going to do. Now you can see this one 
uh, over here it has like the yellow, the orange. I always start with yellow and honestly the primaries for the background is pretty good. This is a new Gamboge. I know it looks kind of yellow in here, but it is a warm yellow, which I feel like is on the edge here. And so I'm going to um, put just some warm yellow over here just to be the background until we can add more. And if it's too dark for you, you can always, um, you know, lift it. Like I feel like it's a little bit too dark. Do you see how you can lift? And it just lifts off and it has that nice yellow hue to it. And then I'm going to go in and start with this one again. So this one has like the pretty green, kind of almost like, I, I honestly, I'm not like a professional feather. I just like them. I'm pretty sure this might be a peacock feather, but I could be totally off could be a chicken feather for all I know but I'm gonna take a green and you take whatever green or whatever color makes you happy and I'm gonna take this green Ooh, gotta wash my hand and kind of layer it in here because I'm in the feather itself you can kind of see how it's green right on the edge here right and so you kind of go in and then we go as you go go through and add layers so I'm just doing it right on the edge here and then we'll add some more blue a little bit later now I'm gonna um, go in and take some more brown so my favorite brown is the burnt umber I just like it it's like a nice warm brown like basic and I'm gonna go in here and just kind of go through and layer it on top now I the feather thing is kind of new for me and I know it's really trendy and I really like it I've always loved feathers um, but I love doing birds I don't really go into detail with their feathers but I um, as you know I would have like a I have a tutorial for a for a hummingbird I don't know if that's my only I'm off the top of my head just because I was playing around with the speed video I accidentally deleted the original files and then trying to do a speed video with a copy of a copy is not the best but um, there's my feather and we'll add some more dark layers to get that really dark hue once this dries we'll add some in so the next one that we're doing is this lovely orange one which I just really like so I'm also going to take some more burnt umber and I'm going to just kind of go through and I'm going to do a line kind of where this center line is kind of help me guide me here and as you can see it's a little bit more dark up here so you can add some more darkness up here and you can see it's just kind of got these little stripes on the under under part of the feather and you can see you can just add, add it as you go and see it's still kind of wet and you know I'm not quite as like hyper about it you know blending but as you can see I'm just kind of going with what I see and adding the color the colors to it and the beauty about doing feathers is you can go in and you can just add more layers later on um, to make it to do what you want it to do I'm gonna take some more of my um, um, burnt sierra and I'm just gonna add oh see my paintbrush is too dry do you see how it kind of grates on that You just put in layers however you feel it looks nice. So most of this is I just been doing the baseline of it and then kind of going in and I'm gonna do some some darker stuff later on. Um, and I doing feathers, I don't really mind if it mixes together because the part that makes the feathers look great is when you add the like the white lines. Now you can do it with with either um, a gel pen or you do white paint or um, if you want to be really like professional or whatever you can use the um, masking fluid to put in your highlights but I'm just going this is just kind of fun of whatever I want to do and I'm gonna go on the next one you can see I'm just going layer by layer and so um, and you know you can always use a, a lighter one if you like so now I'm gonna do this one and it's kind of like just kind of put layers all the way give it that depth 
And then right in the center is like that, that darker band of color and then it ombres on both sides. So I'm going to be making some darker And as you can see, it's kind of, the lines aren't distinct, but this, this is the part where you go in later on and then you add more lines on top of it. Now we're gonna do this cute little peacock feather next and put some layers on here. It's so pretty. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Burnt Sierra. Kind of just like, it looks like it's like, kind of lines on the edge here. Just doing some fine lines. And I'm gonna go in and then I'm gonna add, it looks like it's that bright green that I'm using over here. Now you can use any green, like I said, any color you want. It just happens to be what I have in my um, palette. And I don't actually mind pulling down from the Burnt Sierra when I'm doing this. Do you see how it's pulling? And it's mixing, but I kinda like that. I wanted to have that effect. And then I see it kinda goes down a little bit more here. And on this side, and it almost looks like it has like a layer of like the cobalt blue ever so, so lightly. Oops, I didn't get enough paint on my brush. It's not. The ultramarine is also much more of a deeper hue. So if you want it a little bit deeper, you can do that. And then I'm going to go in and add a little bit of brown. I'm doing this all at once so it has that blendy sort of feel going on, which I like. And you can use a finer brush if if you struggle with making fine points with a brush this big. Um, that would be my suggestion. And so in here, um, do you see it like ever so lightly? And you just start layering on top, right? So it's, an, it's almost kind of like squiggly and flowy and it's like fine kind of feathers that you like to sleep on. <laughs> and we have one line down here and you just keep layering your lines on top until you get get the feel that you're you're looking for and you want you can mix it with other colors so the feathers are kind of beautiful that way I'm just going I don't have enough water in my brush now you don't have to use all the colors I'm using um, and so you can and your feathers can be really like not not even real looking And I'm going to put in the, mm, I really like the way that turned out. It's really beautiful. I'm going to go in, and this is still kind of wet, a little bit, but um, my cat's talking to me. She's telling me a story. She, I, every time I do a video, she, I think she's wondering who the heck I'm talking to because there's nobody here. Nobody's responding, and I think she's like, um, hello. Yeah, I see. She knows I'm talking about her now. And so, um, I'm just going to go a little bit highlighting over here. So you can still see the brown, but there's a little bit more of like a darker, almost black. And that's, remember again, blue. Blue and, um, um, brown make black. i got to pet my cat. She's yelling at me. Jeez. <laughs> funny cats are funny um, now I'm gonna put a little bit more brown in here just to make it a little bit darker not so dark and then it's always feathers have these little lines on the bottom and I like putting them in I know it's like not as much detail but It was too white there for me. I almost kind of want to put a little bit more orange in the center here, which is a, which is the Sierra, burnt Sierra, or whatever it is. I'll tell you later on. I just don't. There we go. I love that. I'm gonna put a little bit in between here. That's not exactly like the feather looks right next to it, but that's the beauty of watercolor. I mean, there are people who do realistic watercolors, and 
the art is quite lovely. I've just honestly I do really quick videos and and the reason is is because I do it to just enjoy. And now I use some cobalt in there, but I'm going to do some of my um, ultramarine because it's a, a, a darker color and I like how it looks. And I'm just going to go in there and add layers upon layers. So you can still see the green. And then what I'm going to do up above here, because you see how it has this like white tip, is I'm going to take some gray. Well, I'm going to take my black and water it down heavily. So I'm going to practice over here until I have a really, 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 really light, light gray. And then, and then I added that to give it the illusion that it's white. Now I'm going to do some, um, make some black. I have it in, in my, as you can see over here, I have brown on one side and um, ultramarine blue. So this is my burnt umber and I just pull from both sides to get the paint that I want. And then I'm going to go in here and just kind of put it in here, right? So it's like darker, but you still have the undertones and then kind of push it up. And see how that is? It's giving that. And if, if you feel like it's not pulling too dark, I feel like I can add some some of the green that I have and just add it on top. I want it, it'll dry to be right. Now I'm gonna add some fine, it's dry over here, so we're gonna add some fine lines, give it some wispies. This one is not dry yet, but I wanna give it some wispies in a minute, so I might have to like actually dry it with the dryer I'm going to put in some more wispies on this feather, which I have no idea what sort of bird it came from. I'm going to go in here. Just kind of, and this one's kind of still not dry either. See that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, oh, my feathers are probably going to go everywhere. Go in here and dry it real quick, so then you can add the layers that you want. And I, if you don't have any patience like me, this is something I recommend that you get. It's just a heat gun, heat tool. Got it from like Joann's. I use my half off coupon, and I use it a lot. I did embossing too for a while for cards and that, which you could totally turn your, your paintings into cards. And um, I just like it, it's really good. It helps really dry the watercolor. All right, that doesn't take that long to dry. And it gives your hands something to do while you're waiting for it to dry, which is something I need. I like to keep my hands moving. I'm just gonna add some more wispies here and add them up here. And I want I want that center one, that center black band to really be prominent. And so I'm going to go in here and really add some layers. Now I feel like my orange one is just lacking something. And I think it just might be some fine lines. So I'm going to go in here and make a more brownish black. I'm just going to go in there and add some, some lines. And what I'm doing is just layering on top of the watercolor. That's, that's how watercolor works. And you see how I'm leaving the space for the orange in there? I'm going to do it over here. Now, as you can see, it's not exactly how it, it looks in real life. But it's okay. It's, it's quite lovely and beautiful. I have a friend who wants me to make her like a ton of feather paintings for her house. I don't even know if she watches my videos, but she sees my paintings. And I might give them to her because she's a good friend of mine. There we go. Much more happier with the way that looks. And I'm actually really happy how this turned out. I might just do one more tiny, tiny layer of black, but it's going to be more of a blue back. 
and I'm gonna go in here and just add just the lines, just enough. Ooh, yeah. And then I'm gonna make sure not too dark. So I'm gonna take some of the paint off and let's see. I'm gonna add a little few wispies over here. And then this one too. I'm just gonna go in here and If you feel like it's too dark, just put some water in there. And you just go in there and and I'm not sure how the rest of you out there in internet land feel about this one. I wonder if you feel like it's dark enough. And actually, look, mine's more of like a fan, and it kind of points up like that. This is what happens when you do your paintings. You can um, reference photos, and well, I'm going to go in here and add it so it's more. There we go. Now I'm a little bit happier with that. And then I'm going to add this more little yellow in there. And I might just add another layer. I think I might just even do like a, I don't want to say black, but more of a black, um, a darker brown. So I add a little bit of blue to it to get the color I want. And then just add. And see how light my touch is when I put the feathers in. I think that got too heavy over there. And then I feel like this is pretty good. This is how you do feathers. And I'm pretty happy. So here's the trick that I like to use with feathers. I think give it a little bit of pop. I have this, um, this ink pen and I've tried other ink pens um, this is a gel and um, I really like it and um, this is where I go in and add you don't have to do this a lot of people say it's mixed media when you do this I don't really care because I'm not doing this to win any awards or anything but I like to go in and then add some lines here and there so like especially over here by the, the dark and honestly, I'm feeling like it's almost like too wispy. And so you can always go in here and smooth smooth it out. I feel like it's kind of crazy. And then I'm going to go in here and put this white line up in here. And even though in the painting or in the real life it might not have that, it kind of shows this one I did a pretty good job of getting the wisps on, so I don't feel like I need it quite as much. And I want to do it on this one. On this one, I'm going to do a little bit over a few. So it might be a little bit wet. <laughs> That's okay. All right, and then there you have it. Now you have some beautiful feathers. Now you could do whatever color you want, however you want. If you want to do some unnatural or, you know, look up feathers or different types of birds and their feathers, um, please feel free. Now this one, when I did it, I just used a round circle. I have like this cup holder um, that I like to use. I put this in and then I did my feathers in there. And so, and then I added, so if you look at my tutorial on how to do wreaths, you can do that. So I hope you enjoy this painting. It was a lot of fun to do. Um, next week, I'm, or two weeks from now, I'm actually going to be trying to be doing some of my jewel paintings. I've been doing a lot of jewel paintings and having fun with those. So if you're interested in two weeks from now, this is probably going to be the next painting I do. Um, so 
happy painting everyone and i hope you like it please subscribe um comment any you know critiques or anything would be great all right have a good one bye